Your sin affects you and everyone around you. Your sin affects you and everyone around you. And it's not just the blatant sins that's in your face. It's the small secret sins that you're not telling people about. It's affecting your life. It's affecting the lives of the people that you love around you. The people that are closest to you. The people that are in the boat with you. Your sin is, is it's more than just a small transgression against the holy God. Your sin is causing problems. You running from God affects more people than just you. Christianity is not a personal religion. It's not about your personal beliefs or your personal walk with God. If you are a follower of Christ, this affects your whole life and all the lives of everyone close to you. Jesus says you are called to be a light, the light of this world. He says you're called to be the salt of the earth. That means you're supposed to taste differently. The light of the world, you're supposed to shine bright. Notice what the, in the story that, in the verse I just read, notice what the sailors do. What do the sailors do? Like, so Jonah's in this time of trouble when the storm is coming after him. Jonah knows what's going on. But instead of dealing with it, he goes to sleep and down in the hold because he goes down even further. Down further into his sin. Down. As far away as he can get from God, he goes down. What do the sailors do? They pray to their gods in time of trouble. Isn't that something? Christian, why do we let the pagans around us be more faithful than us? The world isn't afraid to tell you what they believe, are they? They're not afraid to let you know what their faith is in. They're not afraid to let you know what they believe. So why are you afraid to tell them what you know? This world is not afraid to preach to you. So why are you afraid of preaching? You say, I don't want to be preachy. Guess what? Everyone in this world is preachy. But there's one truth. There's one way. Why are we so afraid of being preachy when everyone else is being preachy? Why are we letting the heathens preach in our place? Why are we letting their messages get so big? Why are we sleeping as they cry out to their gods? The truth is, our God is the God of the storm. Our God is the one with sovereignty. We should be the most bold with the truths that we have. But instead, what do we do? We choose to be like Jonah. We choose to be asleep down in the hold. 